Hey guys, before we can actually show you the MPG loops towing and empty with the new 2021 F-150 hybrid and of course the new Jeep Gladiator diesel, I need to get the trailer, which is why I'm here at Trans West. But it's not just as simple as actually hooking it up to the Ford. I also need to add some ballast. So let me show you how we do it. I'm gonna open the container here so I can fill it with water. This would be, I'm putting about 2,000 pounds of weight. Okay, I've distributed the weight, I hope, correctly. I put the main weight over the tandem axles. And now, just gonna secure it. All right, it took a little bit of time, but the trailer is set, just about 6,000 pounds. So it's time to get actually home and then meet Mr. Truck and actually get this done. Let's do this. Mr. Truck, we meet again at the truck stop. Well, yeah, what is this? We got a mid-size and a full-size. What are we comparing here? Well, we have a brand new 2021 Ford F-150 hybrid and of course a brand new Jeep Gladiator diesel, but they have something in common. What in the world do they have in common? Well, actually, EPA rating for fuel efficiency, both of these trucks have 24 MPG combined. Wow, so that's really cool comparison, but would I take a diesel or would I take a hybrid? <laughs> well, which truck do you want to drive today? The hybrid! It's the newest thing out there, man. Hey guys, Tommy here with a little bit of a secret and something a little bit worrying. You see, every man on my mom's side of the family has some sort of male pattern baldness. And it actually turns out that they're not alone. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? and you want to catch it before you have no hair whatsoever. You used to have to go to a doctor to get a prescription, but now thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get a prescription sent directly to your house. Keeps offers one of the only generic FDA approved hair loss products out there. And let me tell you what, you've never seen it at this price. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash TFL or click the link in the description below and receive 50% off your first order. That is K-E-E-P-S dot com slash TFL. Check them out. This is a premium truck, premium engine, 91 octane for best performance. So the first loop we're doing, Mr. Truck is of course in the Ford with the trailer, I'm in the Jeep, and then we're gonna switch trailers. I'm gonna tow in the Jeep and Mr. Truck will be in the Ford. All right, I'm resetting my trip meter. I'm ready to go. So as always, we are running our 66 mile loop and our cruise control systems are set at 70 miles an hour. Uh, it shows I'm using zero electric miles. I can't remember what you said about tow haul mode. Does that shut off the hybrid if you're in tow haul mode? In tow haul mode, the hybrid is active. It just, it will never run in electric only mode. So that's correct. Wow, so I really don't get any savings unless I'm not pulling on trailer with the hybrid. Well, the electric motor is still working, so you're getting something, just not only electric miles. This is cool, this hybrid, we finally got a hybrid and a full-size truck. I'm very happy about this. Now this has 430 horsepower and 570 pound-feet of torque. It's the best in class. It's got the electric motor behind the torque converter. It's fantastic. This has a 1.5 kilowatt hour battery. 
Ford engineers were telling me that this engine, the 3.5 liter twin turbo, is basically what the Raptor has, but it's a little bit detuned, right? Uh -huh. And of course the electric power is included. Uh, and I'm really curious exactly how it tows and also goes down the highway empty. Hey Mr. Truck, I can see that your chin spoiler is automatic and it's deployed. And you should be very um, aerodynamic now. How does it ride? I mean, they made the truck, you know, a little bit, a uh, tiny bit wider uh, with the wheel offsets. How does the suspension handle? Well, wider is always better, you know, that was a big part of the big secret of the quadra steer. But, you know, this uh, does great. I mean, we got just a little bit of sway. It's not enough that where you can see the trailer move, it's just a little bit of movement. It feels better pulling a trailer, it's just smooth. This is our test trailer. We get this from Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Four horse, beautiful trailer. So we're up to about 6,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah total 6,000. Yeah, so this is so cool. We love this trailer. It's got that big wing on it. Check down the link below in the description for Transwest Truck Trailer RV's website. Mr. Chuck, what do you think? Did I do a good job? Did I balance it correctly? And Well, yeah, no, actually, and then something like this, uh, because the water totes full and the barrels are empty, we do want to load a little bit farther forward. I think you did that, so you did a good job. You are getting to be a big trailer trucker dude. Well, thank you for the blankets. Doing a sound test now, I want asphalt, which should be a little quieter. It was running between 63 and 64, which is outstanding. All right, Mr. Truck, let's find out the exact result. What did the computer say? 8.2, as I recall. 8.2. 8.2. Interesting. All right, here's a number. 8.18. So our route, uh, based on GPS, is 66 miles. Divide by 8.18 equals 8.1 if you round up. So it's basically the trip computer was right. Very close, yes. So we tested the regular 3.5 EcoBoost before, a few years ago. Right. And we got 8.5-ish. Really? So this is with a trailer. Yeah. So this is not any better than that. No, so with a trailer, the hybrid may not be the right choice if you trade it no. a lot. These two trucks have something else in common, and it's the fuel tank size. Here in the Gladiator diesel, the tank is about 18.3 gallons, which is a couple of gallons actually less than the regular gas-powered Gladiator, and that's to make room for the DF tank. In the Ford, uh, that fuel tank is 30 gallons big. Once again, less than available in, in the regular F-150 because of the battery. The computer said 26.2. EPA says about 27 is possible. Uh, 66 miles divided by 3.118 equals, whoa! 21.2. Wow. That's quite a bit less than I expected. It looked to me like the diesel in this Jeep was really close to what the Canyon and the Colorado are with yes. their diesel. And it, it may have miles. to do it may have to do with you know the beefy tires and it's a Rubicon, right. not a regular sport, you right, know, gl right. gladiator sport. But that's real world guys. I mean that's the best we can measure. truck we're back on the highway but now I have the load yes we're back on the road again the trailer that truck looks a lot smaller than that trailer in that Jeep yeah this is a mid-sized truck and 6,000 pounds it's I'm maxed out dude my suspension feels good I um, it's not the trailer is not really swaying I think the hitch is doing its job but I can feel the weight I can feel the weight of this trailer Just a hair more bounce because there's no weight to hold me down. But you know, this truck handles a lot more like a 250 than it does a 150. You can feel the weight, you can feel how it handles. It's an improvement, it's a good thing. 
But you know what? I'm all set. I got the cruise control set at 70. The air dam, I'm sure, is out. I've got it on eco mode. So this is set to get the best fuel mileage it possibly can. And this Gladiator has a 3 liter eco diesel V6 with 260 horsepower and 442 pound feet of torque. And it's backed up by an 8 speed automatic. Towing with a diesel Gladiator is a totally different experience when compared to the gas V6 Gladiator that we own, actually. Uh, this one is an 8th gear rolling under 2000 RPM. The gas Jeep would be like screaming at like 4 or 4500 RPM. But let me check out the sound and see exactly what we have. Alright, that's about 69 decibels, about 68 to 69, um, which is still below 70 decibels, which is quiet, but louder than in the Ford. So we're running about 10% tongue weight as we should, about 600 pounds right here on the hitch, and weight distribution attachments for more stability, and of course, weight distribution across all axles. So this is set up, I think, really well. Now look at this, he did a good job of setting up the hitch, by the way. But looky here, here's where you plug in all those cameras you can put on your trailer and everywhere else. But you no longer have the four pong for your boat. That's weird, I know GM did that too. If they put a camera plug on it, you lose your four pin boat plug. You know, I'm a big fan of tunnel covers, but why does this have one? Well, this Jeep, just like that Ford, is fully loaded. Every option, it's diesel, it's almost everything you can put in a Jeep, $66,000. So this is like a factory tonneau cover? Yeah, yeah. In the new Ford, uh, the system still doesn't allow you to see the back camera when you're moving, but in the Jeep, you still can. So you click this button, and you, for a few seconds, you can actually check your connection and see that the trailer is well connected. Of course, in the Ford, there is also a warning system. If the, if the wiring is, is loose or disconnected, the Ford will let you know in your main screen. Towing loop in the Jeep, 13.3. Let's see what the pump says. That's good. You didn't run out of fuel, did you? No, I'm I'm actually really hopeful. I think it's gonna be good. That's good. Okay, 5.744. All right, towing in the Jeep, 66 six miles, same loop, divided by 5.744. 11.5. Hey, actually, that's not a bad result. No, really, that's that's good really loaded. Good. That's good for 6,000 pounds, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 70 miles an hour, uh, highway speeds, that's not bad for a diesel. No, it's not, it's not. Let's get the hybrid over here. Okay, here we go. That's a pretty good result, so let's calculate. All right, Ford, unladen, 66 divided by 2.214. Whoa! Over 30, oh, it's not over 30. 29.8? Holy cow, that's wonderful! You know, that is incredible, because it's rated at 24. And that's one of the big secrets of these hybrids, is you're gonna get the same kind of fuel mileage, and you brought this up, 24 in the city, 24 in the highway. I'm in shock, guys, so. Some of these results don't make a lot of sense, right? 29.8, uh, that's a great result. We did everything the way we always do it, right? So guys, I think we had some bad luck with the fuel pump today, no matter if it was diesel or gas. So take this with a grain of salt. Um, and also pay attention to what the trip meters were saying versus what the calculation at the pump said. The truth is somewhere in the middle. Let us know what you think and go back to tfltruck.com and where else? MrTruck.com! <laughs>